Uh, we, you know, we came out healthy, which was good. Uh, you know, we got, you know, it was exactly what we needed. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do in the offensive line. Got a lot of work to do with the communication between receivers and quarterback. Um, defensively, I thought we ran around well. I thought we pressed the quarterback well. I thought we were in place. I, I think we can tackle better on defense in a lot of places. Uh, our coverage on our kickoff and kick, uh, I'm sorry, on our, on our kickoff coverage and our punt coverage has got to get much better. And, and frankly, we haven't worked on it as much. We've been more schematically getting the, getting the protection stuff. So overall, pleased. Uh, but obviously, I'm glad we're not playing a game tonight. You take that to protect your quarterback, yeah. you know, and, and here's what you do as a coach. You're really mad when it happens now. And then when you watch it on film, you say, OK, take this away, take this away. You know, uh, probably not a sack here, but we gave it up, you know, mm -hmm. so so it's a give and take type deal. But <laughs> the main thing is that your quarterback comes out healthy and everyone comes out healthy. And so you take the you take uh, playing the game that way to protect your guys. Well, and, and listen, he's got that ability, and uh, we're really pleased with how he's progressed this uh, this fall, and uh, you know, hopefully, he continues to progress that way because he he certainly has the talent to really help us win. You know, he's really happy over there. He felt more comfortable on the defensive side, and he came to me and asked, "Can I do it?" You know, where he was at on the depth chart and and his role on offense, we felt that he could have a bigger role on the defensive side, and he's gotten in there and gone after. I'm anxious to see actually how he how he looked on film because uh, he he acted like he didn't miss a beat. And the neat thing is he's in great shape mm -hmm. and he's very strong. And so you know we'll see how that works out. But I think it's a great a great move for both him and and Seth. Outstanding group, and that's why you know I was pretty hard on the offense tonight when I was uh, in the locker room afterwards. But the other thing is you look at the other side of the ball and you say you know you got real three really good linebackers and three pretty good ones backing them up too. So uh, so listen, I'm glad they're on our side, not someone else's. Uh, well, well, you know, we're really excited about our defensive ends and our defensive line in general in this freshman class. Hunter Smallback and uh, Jack Benzia both have had really good good falls and good camps, and so uh, we're anxious to see them continue to progress and get better and better. Well, we're we're obviously turning all of our attention to Presbyterian and, and trying to get better at the things we got to get better at. It still all gets down to fundamentals, not setting right, not snapping the ball appropriately, not being the right uh, formation at certain times. Uh, and so we're going to go back to the drawing board, try to further hone what we feel we're good at so that I think it's better for us to execute better than to have a, a bigger playbook in. Defensively, you know, we have older kids so we can put a bigger playbook in if we need to, but but just make sure we don't have too much in so that we can execute what we're doing. Again, we want to be healthy and we want to be fresh going into that game. We want to be fast when we get there. And so uh, this is going to be our last uh, full out, all out uh, live stuff. We'll do periods of live uh, work just to make sure we stay fresh. But uh, this will be the last scrimmage. It went it went decent, but we can always be better. Uh, I can't focus on what we did good. Got to focus on what we did bad or what we need to work on. Uh, there are certain things, certain aspects of the offense and the defense that we both have to work on to get better so we can improve for the first game. Uh, honestly, I can't sit there and say that I've solidified anything because nothing's guaranteed. Uh, I've learned that from the past, nothing is guaranteed. So I'm just here doing my job, doing what I can, and hopefully I do what I need. we need to do to win. Myself, just got to work on making the plays that are presented to me. I know today I dropped the interception. Those are certain plays, you know, they could just change the game, working on just, you know, pulling it in, securing it, uh, work on tackling. I missed a few tackles tonight, uh, work on, you know, just the, the simple base. Well, I mean, obviously, first off, hats off to the defense. They played their butts off tonight, and, you know, you certainly can't discredit that. But, um, yeah, we did. We had quite a few simple and mental mistakes, you know, and some of that's due to our defense and the way they shift and move around and all that. But still, again, you know, hats off to them and something that we definitely got to continue to improve on and just kind of sit in there, hold our waters, let me make some checks there. Um, you know, and just get in the right protections and do the little things right that, you know, we normally are able to do for whatever reason tonight. You know, again, defense played well, but again, it's no excuse for our offense to not be clicking on all cylinders here. As bad as situations, you're in third and 20, you're checking the ball down, and those guys are getting 14, 15 yards just on a simple check down. I mean, I think it, in essence, in a larger picture, you know, 30,000 feet looking down at everything, you know, you, you eliminate a lot of those procedure penalties, stuff like that. We're in good shape. And obviously, we have a bad taste in our mouth right now. We, everything doesn't feel good. Um, but when you take away those kind of things, we're not, we're not too far off, you know. So, again, I think it's just polishing up. And, we, like, you know, you said it. We had a lot of weapons out there. Uh, Dream played well tonight. Leary played well tonight. Uh, Michael uh, Carley played really, uh, really, really well tonight. So, 
you know, we just got to sit in there and utilize those weapons. So. First off, it's always good to get through this scrimmage because now it's like 100% focused on them. And, you know, they're a great team as well, big scholarship school coming down here. And, um, you know, I think it really, it, it, it's a little interesting for us, you know, on offense, we go against a 3-3 stack defense all camp long, now you go to a 4-2, so there's little nuances there that definitely have to be changed in your mind, mind change and, um, you know, those kind of things, so different assignments, stuff like that, so definitely going through that kind of work in the, in the film room and stuff like that, and, you know, again, cleaning up those procedure penalties and just the simple things that you have to do to win it, it, it to compete against anybody. Um, so, I mean, I think it'll be fun, you know. I think once we're full devoted to that and, you know, we get back here, get rolling on Monday, there's, got, there's going to be a lot of guys flying around, and I think there's a big excitement still. And it goes to show you, too, as bad as we played tonight, our defense played their butts off tonight. So um, I think we're going to complement each other well all, all throughout the season, and I think we're all, you know, we, we're leaving this with thumbs up. We're feeling good um, rolling into that game. and. You know, we're excited. I mean, it's your first game, home opener back over here, and didn't get to play them last year, so we're excited to play them this year. Um, I think there's a lot of things that we can improve on. You know, there was a lot of, I would say, our intensity wasn't really there. A lot of guys just heads wasn't in tonight. Um, you know, we're going to get back to the drawing board on Monday, fix all our corrections, you know, pick things up for the first game against Presbyterian. Um, I think our mindset switched a little bit because camp is technically ending. So I think the mindset of we're not playing ourselves anymore, we're preparing for another team, will definitely boost our morale and boost our energy from here on out. I'm a team guy all the way, so whatever the coaches need me to do, I'll be there to do it. And I'm here to help the young guys get into their position and their roles and to have a great season this year.